Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wa ala One of the sunnahs of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to do i'tikaf, spiritual retreat and this is a sunnah mu'akkada, it is a confirmed sunnah to do it any time but in the last 10 days of Ramadan it is even more emphasized and that we know that our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam according to our hadith is that every last 10 days of Ramadan until he returned to his Lord is that he would do the itikaf and then the hadith that it says and then his wives would do it after him that bringing life to his legacy and his sunnah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in another hadith that indicates is that our Prophet would that every year do itikaf in the last 10 days but the year that he returned to his Lord is that he did itikaf for 20 days and so Itikaf is one of the great sunnahs of our Prophet وسلم, is that we should strive to do. And if we can't do it all of the last 10 days, at least that as many as we can in the last 10 days. And then what is the whole purpose of Itikaf? The purpose of Itikaf is to focus on our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, to direct our, our hearts to our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, to be in a state of dhikr, to be in a state of fikr, of constant remembrance of Allah ta'ala, reflecting upon that what we should be reflecting upon, because when we go out into the world is that there's all different types of things that distract us. But if we can cut back from that sensory overload and we can focus, and that we can be in a place and the sign that we're a believer is that we feel very comfortable and our hearts are open when we're in the places where we're performing the itikaf. But then that when we're free from those distractions, now we can direct our hearts to our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that when we set out to Allah ta'ala on our path and to draw near to Him, when we direct our hearts to Him, is that this is one of the greatest things of all that we can do, the elixir of all elixirs is to constantly direct our heart to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that revive the sunnah that amongst us and amongst the ummah of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in this blessed month of Ramadan wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa sallam wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen